to welcome you here on the third episode of Coco and the Freak. Thanks for choosing being here with us and I hope you're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be great. So, yeah, I am Coco Maria and this is... My name is our Freak, if you didn't know. And uh, we... Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh, hello? Hello? Let me check. Hello? <coughs> Oh, Américo Brito. Mr. Américo Brito, oh, uh, come in. <laughs> What's up? Welcome. Have a seat. We're just starting, so you're a little a bit seat. late, but Take it's okay. A nice outfit. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Was, uh, oh, who's there? Uh, are we waiting? This might be. I don't think so. It's not is it our so first too early. Guest? It's too early. No? It's too early. If it is our first guest, this is one of my favorite producers, artists, musicians, um, and he seriously thinks uh, about how to merge art with music. Maybe you guys know him. His name is James Zoo. <laughs> oh, hey, but you, oh, you're alone. Welcome. Where's the rest? Where's the band? We are, uh, uh, the band let's make Where's some space for the band. Maybe they can sit here or here. The band? Yeah. There's no band. <gasps> no, but uh, okay. So this is Coco and the Freak. This All show right. is talks, but also music. So each artist performs actually some of their music. So. Where's the where's the where's Neil's where's the musicians? Ooh. Nobody informed me on. Oh. Did you send the band? Maybe can we cut this? Coco, you, huh? you sent the call sheet, right? Yeah. So. But wait, I, didn't, I think you didn't reply to the last email. So oh. maybe you didn't. But um, I'm very sorry, but we do really need some music. Well, I made some music, though. Oh. You did? Music for tiny self-playing pianos.
Добрый день, Зефри. What just happened, man? What is this? So I made an installation for tiny uh, shy pianos. Okay. For an art space in The Hague, and then they okay. would play. And then if you would walk up them, to them, they would close their lids and stop playing. <laughs> awesome. bit, it was a bit of a silly endeavor, but um, so I still had these pianos. Mm -hmm. And when I knew uh, we, um, we had to bring some music, then uh, that's why I suggested maybe I can bring the tiny pianos. Yeah, of course we knew you were not coming with the band. But, that's, that's <laughs> but um, the, uh, the music, how did this, did this come about? Um, I'm a I'm a boogie woogie fan. Okay. And then uh, you have uh, this composer called Conlon Nancaro, and he made a lot of boogie woogies for uh, this clavier. So like a big self-playing piano. So I wanted to make tiny boogie woogies. So I made a, a whole bunch, and this was one of them. Yeah. So these are these claviers. Yeah, pretty much. Like um, a disc clavier is a is a Yamaha self-playing piano, a big one, or a, a, a buffet piano, or a, an upright, or a, or a grand piano. Mm -hmm. But this is basically uh, a toy. But then we modified it so that we can play my music on it. Yeah, very cool. And it works with a MIDI. Yeah. Right. What's yes. that? What is? So tell me more about MIDI. Uh -huh. How the disc clavier works. So I'm I'm definitely the wrong person to ask what MIDI is, but I think it's like a, um, some sort of a language that that um, um, uh, some sort of a language that uh, that tells uh, what note, what loudness, and at what moment should be played, and then uh, we uh, implemented that within these tiny self-playing pianos, and we're actually making. I, my, my dream is for them to come out of a little hole and they would walk around and then play and then if someone enters the room, they all scatter back into Whoa. this hole, like roaches. Whoa. So uh, <laughs> I'm, we're, we're making them uh, battery driven now with legs. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, that's my, my, big, my big dream. In the Tate Modern and then maybe 500. And Whoa. then you walk in and they, how, how big? they all scattered. How it's just the same, the same, same pianos. So like, uh, and then they're like having fun. Yeah. And then until someone comes humans in. Humans come. Yeah, and, and then they're, they're gone. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely a work in progress. But I'm obsessed with it with the self-playing piano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One sorry, one question: Is this Cape Verdean wine that we're drinking? What is this? Huh? <laughs> it's grog, right? Oh, it's nice, nice. You're obsessed with the self-playing piano since mm -hmm. when, or how did we start? Um, so I have a band, and I make music as James Zoo, and that's kind of living its own life in in more of like a jazz realm because it's been released on this label called Brain Feeder, where a lot of jazz musicians are releasing their music. And one thing that I found on stage is that. Pretty much all music is very enigma driven and what you see is kind of that translates on how you listen as well and that's I wanted to kind of see what what it would do to someone if you if someone would play a solo but there would not be no nobody behind this piano or such so I I recorded a lot of motorized acoustic instruments uh, from saxophones to trumpets cl clavinets all kinds of uh, clavicymbals all kinds of stuff um, those are pretty hard to get, but there's a person in Ghent uh, who makes them, Gottfried Willem Raas. But then the self-playing piano is a bit of a like more well-known kind of thing that you can rent as well. So we have a band now, which is basically, um, I don't know how this translates to English, but a begeleidingsband mm. to a non-existent soloist. So we just kind of, awesome. kind of help this. Yeah, 
yeah, the non-existent. <laughs> so um, and that's like a, that's the, the sh that show we do with a large grand piano. Yeah. But then what's the role of the artist when you are performing with a self-played instrument? Yeah, that's 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 uh, uh, that's my question Good as well. Question. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have the the answer, and I think there's there's no way you can kind of cut the, comp co the enigma completely out because now the self playing piano becomes the enigma. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we're moving in the, into the realm of artificial intelligence and. Mm. Yeah, as well. I mean, some of it is 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 uh, there's a bit of a bit of that stuff by behind it, but that's. Very boring, mm. at least when I talk about it. Mm. So I, I, I will refuse to talk about that. Mm. But um, um, it's just it's just fun to see, to hear music, but you can't really see who's making it, mm. and that that just kind of does something to your brain. Mm -hmm. And and I I think I don't say this happens to all people, but I think it. it, it my, my conclusion was that it happened to me a lot, where I would go to gigs and then it, I, I would. Va it would vastly change on, on how I perceive the music based on who was playing it. And that's what I wanted to cut out. And now we have a silly self-playing piano on stage. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah. Some of the uh, musicians, if there are any in the audience, and especially the billions of viewers that we have on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Among us. Yeah. yeah. Brain Feeder, that's the Flying Lotus label, right? Yes. He started the label. That's that's a big deal for a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. How do, does a and this is the million dollar question everybody wants to know. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm asking for everybody. How do you get on such a really cool international label while you are not from the states? You're living in the Netherlands. So my story with them is a bit strange because I met Lotus. A long time ago, mm -hmm. in uh, in in New York, for this thing called the RBMA, mm -hmm. and that was a thing. And then he listened to my music there, but there was no there was no real connection. Mm -hmm. So I, I remember brief I va vaguely remember this moment where he kind of talked in my ear, but I was not blackout drunk, but I was definitely not not I didn't really digest what he was saying. And we were talking about music and. It, didn't want to bother him anymore, so I di didn't ask for context or yada yada. But then I came back to Holland, and then there was some newspapers writing about this trip that I did. Mm -hmm. um, and then one venue in Holland, particularly, they just wanted to book Flying Lotus, but a bit, but a bit cheaper. So they asked <laughs> me. <laughs> so they asked me if I could e email them. Yeah. And uh, and um, and then they already sent me an email address. Like we know, this is this is someone behind like Lotus. Mm. Can you, because you you're in touch with him now? Can you get in touch with work, him? Right. Yeah. yeah. And I told them no, but then I made this record a year and a half later, and um, it was supposedly it was I was talking a bit with this label called Leaving Records, yeah. which is like kind of Stone Throw affiliated, mm -hmm. uh, and they were really interested. But then I remember like, ah, that email address, it's somewhere. And then I just emailed that email address, like, I don't know who you are, but basically I, I kind of explained the story and they appreciated it and they listened to the record and a week later they were like, hey, I li we like the music, here's a, here's a contract. So, so basically to make a long story short. Just get in touch. Yeah. yeah, or it's close to impossible. And just Oh, wait, one second. I'm not expecting anybody, but let's see. <coughs> <coughs> It's oh Alabaster God. the Plume! Oh my God! Are you here? I heard someone say the words close to impossible, he said. And I had to show up because he said close to impossible. And I feel close to impossible. Awesome, you're here. How are you doing? Thank you. You as well. Only thing is... Um, There's no more chair. We're running out of chair. No. Is it all right? No, you yeah. Oh, that's also fine. You can be in the bathtub. You can take my chair. I, I gotta I go to the. I gotta go to the loo anyway. So I'll be right back. You go to yeah. the loo. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. go to the bath. Okay, go in the bath. Hello, everybody. Hello. You're so nice. So, uh, what brought you here? Well, like I say, I just like uh, anytime someone says the words close <laughs> to impossible, I've got to show up if I can, unless I'm doing a gig or yeah, something. You're, you're very welcome. How was your journey here? It's beautiful. 
I did not fly. Oh, it's plus. so lucky when you cannot fly. Uh, because it's such a random thing. You've got your most things you can buy. Hey! What is this? Right. It's piñata time. <laughs> Okay. So, I'm Wait. so sorry to interrupt you. Oh my god. But I have something planned. I need a drink for this one. Um, you guys know what a piñata is? Uh -huh. So the piñata game is a very old, famous Dutch game. <laughs> what? This, this version is. It's a little different from the Mexican version. <laughs> and it's we, easier to break then. It's yeah, and we need somebody to smash the shit out of the piñata. So who is it going to be? It's not going to be me. Mayor, well. Coco, James, Alabaster. I would love to. So, <laughs> go ahead, man. How, 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 <laughs> many, how many times do I get to hit it? Until it breaks, until everything falls out. So you, 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 you're inviting me to be just <laughs> the only one who destroys it. Yes? Well, let's first hit it, and if that doesn't work, we'll kick it or something. Do you make it yourself? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very good at this kind of yeah. stuff. I made this pretty, myself. It's pretty. Oh, I need to. You wear need it? Up. Yeah, I don't I know. Need to be blindfolded. When you need I do it? it. And you need to do a little run, twist. I need to do it what? Just a little twist. I need to do a little twist. Okay, Coco, I think this is where you come. Very in. good idea. Just a little bit. You're gonna twist me around. Yes, trust me. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. All right, now. Are you disoriented already? Wait. I was uh, disoriented before then I even arrived. Then, <laughs> <laughs> <I should. Ow>! Sorry. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> 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 Try it again. Smash it. Thinking about the Tories. <laughs> <laughs> One more, one more. Oh! Ow! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you, you almost hit Coco. <laughs> no, but you're supposed okay. to run. You're supposed okay. to run after the sweets. Okay, so. But there, hey, wait, wait, wait. There's, there's no sweets in here. No, listen, this is the Dutch is, version of the game. I don't know if I like it. So I was almost people. dead. Yeah. We do not have treats or anything. We have garbage in here. And you see, the, the, we need the yellow eggs. The yellow eggs, is, yeah, that's also cool. But the yellow eggs is what we need. So, see, one here, two. <laughs> I am, you almost, yeah. you almost uh, yes, these are indeed You almost have to find a new, a new co-host. Five, six, seven. Oh, then we have them all. Okay. So, I'll explain, guys. So, this, in this Dutch piñata game, you all get to pick, pick mm, two or three eggs and open them. And there are questions in them, and you can choose whether you answer them yourself, or ask it to someone else, or just throw it away because you think it's a stupid question. <sighs> so pick, uh, pick mm -hmm. three. Yes. I already got two. So, yeah. Two, three. And we got a spare one. Yeah. Oh, for you. Yeah. That's that's good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Wait, cheers <laughs> for artificial intelligence. Oh, oh what's your drink? Alabaster, you want? You it's went, a, you a went a one, crazy right? r r Cabo Verdean uh, round. What was this again? Port. Port. Oh. Uh, Grog. Close. 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 Thank cheers. You. <laughs> artificial intelligence. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So you brought these eggs with questions. Are yes. they very like? Um, well, yeah, we'll see. Well, well, let's see what's in them. So, uh, who wants to open the first one? Let's go. Maybe you. You will be the guest first. So you can answer it yourself, or not answer it, or ask it to someone else. So you can pass it okay. to yes. the next person. Yes, okay. Cool. Find a little child. <laughs> you found a bonus egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In, in one bonus egg, there was a little baby. Uh, it's, yeah. a, it's a tiny little baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it after that's, he that's must the smash the piñata. Welcome to the world, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange place, but we're working on it. <laughs> and I found a little tiny piece of fluffy something. <laughs> and I found nothing else 
This okay. Is. No, but that's that's the bonus egg. That's that the bring. bonus egg. Yeah. So then, Damn. open another one. Open. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you get yeah, the you bonus get egg you in get your life, open another one. <laughs> this time. Is this your alabaster? Is this your first baby? This is my first baby. I feel like it's come to teach me something. Okay, this time. I hope you can the read my handwriting. The que you got great handwriting, yeah. mate. Okay. The question is, and I'd like to, it's all right if I ask you. Yeah, sure. Oh. I th if you would tell myself and the audience the answer to this question, why are you here? I didn't Why? think I was going to get that one. Hello. Why um, are you <laughs> here? Okay. Since um, Alabaster and me, we um, vibrate on a similar level at times. So I'm going to give you an answer that you, will, you can relate to. I am here to find out why I'm here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's uh, there's some people in my life who, if I had answered them that question, they would say, "You've not said anything at all." <laughs> but I would w uh, I would respond to them, "Yes, I have. I'm here to find out why I'm here." But and I, yeah, I love how that's a, that's an answer, but it's not an answer. It why is. am I here? I had to, I actually made a. Uh, a a channel uh like a t like a little tv channel type thing with my friend uh, jordan copeland and tenant net and we created a, a little show that's called why am i here but it's mm. a, it's a review it's like uh you know these like product reviews mm. where somebody does some unboxing and reviews this product yeah so i'm doing that but I'm asking on behalf of this object, mm. why does it exist, you know? Mm. It's, like, it's like you <laughs> humans have created me, you know, it's like, like you know, maybe it's some <laughs> hair gel or something. And it's like, <laughs> why am I here? You know, it's like, an, an, it's like the, the, the product has got an existential <laughs> question and, and, and it's so much fun. That's what it reminds me of when, so when I say that it question, it why is, are you here? And my answer was existential. Because, yes. okay, just elaborate a little bit and not go too deep to find out why we're here because this is the journey. So yeah. the, the, the question is the answer itself. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I believe you. <laughs> Do you know, <laughs> I am not joking when I say I believe you. I I'm happy to hear your laughter and I love your laughter, <laughs> but yeah. I would like to tell you that I'm not joking. And, I, and uh, when I say I believe you, yeah. I don't just mean when you answer that question like that. That's so familiar to me, that's how I might have answered. Mm. But I mean when I see you, you mm -hmm. two, making this show mm. where I feel like I'm among friends, you know, and I feel like it's all right that I am who I am. And I get to spend this time with you, whoever you are in the future, watching this, watching this show, wherever you, whatever you're doing in your life, I don't know, but I admire you for living. Thank you, I, and I'm honored that you spend this time, you know, mm. watching this thing. But when I see you putting this thing together, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. Were you just drawing like a heart or an eternity sign? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jesu, your turn. So, this one's for Anna. Oh. Name one thing you want to do in music before it all ends. <laughs> you like my question? They're no? okay, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were inspired. Huh? You were, I you imagine you in your house with a little candle writing these nice <laughs> questions. <laughs> but it's funny because I was talking about it today. You were talking about it. Yeah. I want to make an album. Hmm. Yes. Yes. And you're going to be in one song. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah, you said. I'm so honest. Mm -hmm. We were already, um, we were uh, speaking, we didn't meet for a while, so we were sharing some um, similar life uh, 
yeah. situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we realized, we, I mean, he has a notebook where he writes down about this, and I have also one, and we thought, oh my God, we should make a song. And then I told him, I wanted to, I realized I want to make an album with mm. my friend, uh, with different friends. Mm. And I think that's it. Awesome. Nice. Now. There's a, a, a lot more, but this one today was strong. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Ameriku, you have a. He has egg one well. egg. You don't have a mic. Wait. Yeah. I have another one here. Wait. Is it on? Check, 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 check. Ah, ah. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is on now. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> oh. Where is music going? Where is music going? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Is to it something who? you want to answer or you want to ask somebody else? Somebody. It's, it's going nowhere if it's up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just keeping it close. Just do whatever I want. And, and everyone should do the same. And it's not about... I don't think there's a, there's a, you, you, there's a large pluriformity in music. I mean, it's always been everything and it's never going to be anything more. And I think that's kind of nice. I think there's always new genres popping up, but that's always derived from like another genre, yada, yada. I don't think mm -hmm. that these gaps or these kind of changes will, will be vast and, and, and big. It will like slowly be in flux. Mm. That's it, which is nice, yeah. Mm. I, uh, I just changed the rules to the game. We're <laughs> only gonna open one more egg. <laughs> okay. So who we wants to open an egg? Are you? I don't have an egg. Do you have an egg? No, you guys have eggs still, right? I'll open one then. Okay. okay. Here we go. If not music, what would you do? Ooh. Something else, I guess, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that's, that's an easy way out, one more, man. One more, Come one on. More. Okay, one more. Egg, one more. <laughs> What do you believe in? That's, that's, <laughs> that's rough. Maybe the other one. <laughs> that, that was it, I guess. Or you yeah. can give the question to somebody else. What would well. you have done when you were a kid? Like, in terms of, like, the, it's something else? Yeah, the something else you would have done. I was doing something else. I was doing sports a lot. But then I had a lot of injuries. What kind of sports? Fighting. <laughs> oh, I was, really? I was eyeing that piñata, if you would. <laughs> Do you know what, recently, the past couple of, like, that year and a half, I've been doing jiu-jitsu. Mm. Do you ever do jiu-jitsu? No, but I, I do Thai boxing now. But oh, jiu-jitsu is great. Cool. I love yeah. the jiu-jitsu yeah. so much. I saw, uh, I think, an Insta get, video. You got someone into a nasty kimura already. Or? A what, what, what? Did you get someone <laughs> in a nasty kimura already? Oh, yeah, not really. No? Okay. But it's different. It's a different kind of style. It's more like that we had been doing. It's more like judo vibes. Oh, okay. So I, so I, yeah, I so it's not the Brazilian style, yeah, yeah. But, but I want to do the Brazilian style it's, as well. I saw a video of Rough. you, I think on Insta, of you doing Thai boxing. And I was so seriously impressed. I it's mean, like, wow, dude, where can I learn it's, this stuff? It's, I mean, it's ninja I, style you were going. Yeah, but it's like, it's, I always thought that, that uh, like, I don't want to get too much into it, but I have like a Taekwondo style. And then I, I try to transfer it to Thai boxing, mm -hmm. but I have my chin up way high. Yeah, and I get my ass rocked yeah. every week. Mm. Yeah, so um, I've been I've been roughed up the last couple of years, mm. but it's fun. It's nice. Something that get gets you um, not thinking about tiny pianos. <laughs> <laughs> it gets you in your you body. Dream. Yeah, it's and nice. it gets you into the present moment. Uh -huh. And we we can like do a lot of talking about the present moment, right? And about and we can do like some meditation now and then or whatever, and talking about being present. But like in my experience, the one thing that really gets me in the present moment is uh, martial arts. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I mean, I think a, 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 any sports just something that you kind of need to focus on, and then the, there's just no room for anything else, which is yeah. nice. I mean, I I I got a. A busy mind, not like not like busy, like it's thinking about like constructive things. I just got a mind that that's just me like too. silly. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And it's not now. It's not real. No. <laughs> and it wants you to believe that it's real. You yeah. know, your your thoughts, your concerns, uh, memories, but or worries about the future. Uh -huh. That isn't. That's not real. 
Yeah. It's mm. not real. This is this moment is is is, is real. Yeah. Mm. And it's it's probably especially good that it gets <coughs> particularly blokes mm. as well because it's quite blokey, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Martial yeah. arts. It's but it's bro, probably yeah. really good that it gets blokes into the present moment. Uh-huh. We were doing this exercise before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With actually, with, um, can I say, singers? With the singers, yeah. Right? With well, we L- Lorene yeah. and Laura. Yeah, Lorene and Laura. From Snow Apple. Snow Apple. They're going to play with me later. I love yes. them. Yes. I saw you doing it, and also in the, on the train, you told me. Yeah. Well, can, you do, can you show it? Well, it's just like this. You just kind of go, get your hand like this, and we're going to go, hi yeah, but we're going to do it when I do. Join in as well, if you okay, like, everybody. everyone. Get your hand like this, and we're going to go, hi yeah, but we do it when I do it. You ready? Yeah. hi 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 And then someone... And and then someone else leads, you know, so that we're following each Aww. other, we're paying attention to each other, and we can let go of our own worries about I like that. myself. <laughs> Is myself good or not? Mm. I had better do something clever so that people like me. And you know that voice, it's familiar, you know. But then you, with games, we can respond to each other and get out of ourselves and into our bodies, you know. I brought a joke. Tell me. What do you call an alligator in a vest? I don't know, Spirit. What do you call an alligator in a vest? Investigator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That's really bad. <laughs> you cut that out. <laughs> no, we leave this in. That's definitely right. leave this in. Alabaster. <laughs> great, you. I want to ask you something. Tell me. And now I'm actually stealing a bit from your research. <laughs> but as I understood, um, you, your name, Alabaster de Plume, has not been your name since birth. Right. But actually, I really I heard something about the story. Where did this name come from? Could you tell the audience? Well, I was um, walking up Upper Brook Street in Manchester, don't know if you've been to Manchester, I was walking up Upper Brook Street, dressed a bit funny. Uh, it was night time. Somebody drove past me, very fast, mm. very loud, very impressive, in their loud, fast car. Mm. They must have been feeling very generous <laughs> because they chose to lean out of the window and share with me (laughs) the feelings that they had (laughs) about me. Uh, But there was so much that they wanted to share and they were driving so fast that they didn't have time to make an actual sentence. They were only (laughs) able to make a, a sort of noise mm. and the noise that they made sounded to me like alabaster de plume <laughs> <laughs> i recognized <laughs> that i had some options in that situation and i chose to take it as encouragement and whoever they are i am happy <laughs> that they encouraged me wow. as i so sit beautiful. here with you calling myself <laughs> Alabaster <laughs> de Plume. And whoever they are, I hope they're having a wonderful night yeah. tonight. <laughs> 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 now I am kind of wondering what they were really saying actually, but Alabaster, I can they said imagine that. what... Yeah, yeah what they, they said that. They said that. Well, this is an interesting point, isn't it? I choose that mm-hmm. that is what I heard. Mm-hmm. So, that is what they said. Mm-hmm. Is that statement maybe true? Maybe they thought you were their friend, Alabaster de Plume. Yes, Alabaster maybe. Alabaster de Plume. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's not yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah maybe. Musician, yeah. right? That's Alabaster de Plume. Maybe <laughs> <Yeah>. they <just laughs> Or a car from the, they came from the future. Oh, yeah. And they were like, is that Alabaster de Plume? <laughs> yeah, maybe they came from the future. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
<laughs> I love that. Maybe the, yes. Because maybe that's how I need to <laughs> tell it now. That's Coco, you want more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> want Let's more go. Wine? I think I think that's why they went so fast in their bus car. But I think you are also you you, did, you didn't come alone today. No, I didn't. Shall we welcome them up? Right. Shall we? It's time, right? Do you want to come? Yes. Is it time for us to play? No, like I feel we should welcome them now. Guys, shall we welcome up to the stage Lorene Schroeder and Laura Polenz. Come on. Come on. Yes. Where's James? Who? So, um... Talk us through uh, the performance, what we're going to experience here. Is this something well rehearsed? Is this your, the band you always work with or not? The Maybe I know the answer already, but... We've been doing um, five hours a day for three years mm -hmm. of uh, work on this, very, <laughs> pre very precise, mm. on, the, on, the, uh, on the three or four minutes that we're going to play, haven't mm. we? Uh, so, um, uh, we started around three o'clock today. <laughs> Yeah. For about 15 minutes. It's nice to meet you, by the way. And it was really yeah. nice to meet yes. you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's uh, it's a really inspiring approach to this. Wow. You are you are who you are, and you just do what you do. Yeah. And and as I understand, um, this is not just a random collection of two singers, but this is also a format on its own called Snow Apple. Am I correct? <laughs> That's true, yeah. Actually, we met um, Alabaster the Plume and Snow Apple, to call us by our artist names, mm -hmm. because we met as artists, because we were on the same record label back in the days when oh. we were both starting as kind of street musicians in Manchester, because oh, we really? were also uh, traveling there a lot. Uh -huh. So yeah. we've known each other yeah. for a while. Uh -huh. um, is everybody uh, interested in hearing this wonderful collection of people yes. performing? It's yes, so say, <laughs> woo! <laughs> it's so nice to be here with you. You're fucking great, you. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Are you ready for Alabaster the Plume and Snow Apple? No? We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Ah, yes! Before we do it, I've got to tell you I don't know anything, look at me. I don't know anything, I don't know anything. But I think you're, I think you're doing very well. I think you're doing very well. It's not always easy. Thank you for living. It's tricky sometimes. It's tricky sometimes. But 
gonna forget that I'm precious I'm not gonna remind you every time I'm not gonna remind you every time I'm not gonna remind you every time Don't forget your precious Don't forget Sounds Don't funny, but I forget sometimes I remember to drink Yes, I do I remember to laugh I remember to check my Instagram But I forget that I'm precious Don't do it Don't forget your precious I remember I'm busy I'm so important and busy I remember my friends I remember to change a hybrid But I forget that I'm precious Don't do it It's Tash and Rechner. Don't forget. They count Beatles. They count Beatles if we don't forget. Forget we're precious. It sounds funny. It sounds funny. It sounds funny. But I forget sometimes. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Go forward in the courage of your love. There you go. Good luck. You're doing very well. It's not always easy. You're doing very well. Thank you for living. It's tricky sometimes, and you're doing it. Good luck. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> yes, you two. There we go. What the fuck? This was episode number three of Coco and the Freak. We see you guys soon. Yeah.